I have the pleasure of introducing Kashif to this call. I have really been looking forward to this. I think we're going to start out at the very beginning, which is Kashif, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself, your role, and the university that you are a part of, NHL Stenden, because I think everyone who is in the Netherlands knows this university. For those who don't know, it's a, um, I think, a 30,000 student university, so it is not small. Um, but you have a very interesting title, and I think I want to start right at the at the beginning. Your title is IT and Innovations Manager at the Hotel Management School, which is a part of NHL Stenden. And Kashif, can you explain what the role is and 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 the 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 Hospitality Management School as well? So, sure. Leah, thank you very much for having me. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Kashif Mahmood. Uh, I'm working for NHL Stand and Hospitality um, Group, which is part of uh, NHL Stand University. We are based in uh, Netherlands. Uh, we have more than 24,000 students uh, from different education, uh, but specifically we have more than 3,000 registered students uh, for hotel management. Um, and uh, what, uh, we, what we are doing here, we are providing uh, the education to the future hoteliers. Uh, we are also very unique because we have also a training uh, hotel, um, restaurant, full, full service restaurant, uh, eight food outlets, uh, uh, campus catering, which are fully provided by our uh, students from different levels, from year one, year two, and year three. Uh, so it's a, it's a very unique concept. Uh, um, and uh, what my uh, role is that I'm responsible for... Uh, uh, for our IT team, uh, they are focused on the on the hotel uh, application stack. Um, I started um, almost thirteen years ago, um, having background in the IT and also uh, studied hospitality as well. So it's a, it's a combination of both uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, things. Also, the uh, making sure that the applications that we are using. Uh, uh, in 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 the hospitality are 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 the best in the market. Nice. I think you're sitting at an incredibly interesting area. First, um, you have this combination of you've combined your passion for technology and hospitality, but then you've applied it to helping to educate the next generation of hoteliers, which I think everyone in the industry is extremely focused on because. You know, we talk about staff shortages, but really the flip side of that conversation is how do we attract a generation of people to choose hospitality as their career and and to be passionate and excited about that opportunity. And I think we talked before this and you mentioned there was a real drop off in attendance rates in the pandemic, but that that's something that you're really focused on helping to recover through your curriculum and your program, but it's not a small program. You've got 6,000 students, is that right? In, in is it 3,000 students? It's 3,000 in the hospitality management school. That's right, okay. And um, which is still very, very significant. And this is, you know, educating this next generation is absolutely crucial. But the other thing that we have discussed is that uh, uh, the curriculum for technology and hospitality is really been something that's so, so small or not a major area of focus or something that's just, you know, on the side as a project, but not a core focus. And I think you're really trying to bring that, that curriculum into the center of the program. Yeah, definitely. This has been always uh, on top of our, our agenda, uh, even before the pandemic. Uh, when um, I started 13 years ago over here, we had uh, uh, two uh, legacy applications, uh, PMS and POS systems, and there was only one uh, um, interface between the two applications. Um, so slowly we started uh, looking into there should be more because the focus at that time was uh, to train the future hoteliers uh, on the application. So a lot of time was only being spent uh, how to do a check-in at, at the reception, uh, how to look at the different reports, uh, how to make analysis. So this was taking a lot of time. So we started looking to that there should be a change. And uh, uh, almost eight years ago, 
um, we were very early adapted to move into one of the um, first SaaS application for the BMS. It was uh, a trial and error. Uh, we tried, but we, we failed at that time. And uh, then we started looking for another right partner. And then we found uh, uh, Muse and it's, it's, we are only talking about six years ago. And we, we saw the potential at that time, which Muse had uh, with the open API, uh, the way we wanted to have the other applications uh, in the market connected with the, with the, uh, uh, with the Muse, because um, I think we, 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 um, if we, we, if we want to provide the right tool to the students, um they have it's always start with the service it's it needs to be guest centric but in order to make a guest centric uh um, the application needs to work seamless and in order to make uh, work it seamless uh, you cannot just base on one application you need to you need to look for different uh, uh specialist in in the market and try to connect them so our journey already started a long time ago but uh during the pandemic uh actually a lot has changed all of a sudden, we we need we we had to change our um, um, uh, trainings from 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 uh, on site to online, and then there was a situation to to move to the hybrid, and there was also um, uh, trust was gone from the market, especially for the, some of the students. They they left the education because they found that uh, uh, they they didn't find any confidence uh, to work for for the hospitality. Uh, but at the same time, we also had to change a lot in our curriculum, uh, try to make sure that we are providing um, either e-learning or hybrid education. Uh, so there was a lot of changes uh, during during this time. And uh, that that actually taught us a lot of uh, lessons that we, we, um, we implemented after when the things uh, uh, getting more more normal. And still of course we are we are on the move to change, but but uh, uh, there, there has been a tremendous change. Yeah, it is. It's it's one where we we talked about Matt and I talked about the fact that the way we work has permanently changed and we're loving it and embracing it. But that also applies to how we learn. And I think um, it sounds like you've had to be very dynamic in figuring out a, a hybrid and yet very on site experience at the same time, one where you're online and offline um, because you do have you have a replica of entire food and beverage service that people can participate in hospitality experiences where they can run the run the services themselves as part of a learning experience. Um, why don't we go into the formal questions? Formal, formal for this for this for this mode. But I'm I'm really excited that you're with us because. I think you will bring in a perspective that we just don't have and are really looking for. And I think the third question is probably top of mind, but we'll start up at the at the top. First, help us to get to know the class of um, of 23 and, and 24, the ones who are graduating this spring. Tell us what we should know about this group and um, and what is unique to them. Yeah, definitely. This is, first of all, it's the generation Z. So they they, they 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 like tech they, they 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 are experiencing it they are using it um and they they, they have been uh through a very uh, uh difficult time during their education so uh, we are talking about the group of 2023 so um six months they started into the education and right after that pandemic hit uh so there was a lot of uh uh uncertain uh, uh, the change of the course, we at the same time, we plan to uh, change our education from the problem based learning to design based, based learning. Uh, it was, of course, not the right time to do that, but it was already planned for a very long time. So we had to carry on with this, uh, with uh, those plans. Um, and uh, um, after uh, uh, when the things got normal, uh, we, we experienced that the, the group of students uh, which stayed and carried on, they got uh quite flexible in a way but also they 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 wanted to have more uh work life balanced balance as well um which we 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 try to change it in our um in our curriculum the way we provided uh, the trainings as well so the current group uh, you can say that they are um they are they have opinion because of the education so they they they, they moved from the problem based learning into design based learning so they experienced a lot so it was a lot of group discussion and coming up with their own uh, 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 product plans 
but at the same time they 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 are um they they, they expect a little bit more from uh, from from the industry as well so they they, they are there uh, with with a lot of uh, tools in their hand which they really want to use it when they are going into the industry yeah yeah it's really interesting the characteristics and the experience i mean you know it is a bit like my grandparents were really formed by the Great Depression in the United States. And you could say this group who have experienced this during a very formative time in their lives will be permanently affected. And it's important to know this in, when when dealing with this group of, of with this workforce that's coming, that's going to be recruited. Um, tell me from this past year, what have been the big lessons for you? What have you taken away from 2023? Uh, we have been working on uh, um, uh, fast decision making, uh, or we 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 wanted to teach uh, that how to make how to 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 uh, to to speed up your decisions, uh, but that should be based on the data. So um, the we 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 tried a couple of things uh, in the past uh, when we are talking about the data. Uh, um, working with the Power BI, uh, connecting applications uh, to the Power BI, but we 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 uh, we tried many things and we were not successful. And then we changed uh, our strategy to create our own data warehouse first of all, uh, because we are working with um, all the hotel applications or hospitality applications, um, the best in the market, and. Uh, uh, we um, uh, we actually connected those applications to to at one place the data lake at Microsoft uh, uh, Azure where the data is being pushed every day, and uh, what we want to provide is to uh, easy access to our students and the staff. Uh, so do, they could uh, have the data available. They could make their own reports or their own dashboards based on the assignments they are getting it and uh, then come up with a very quick strategy as well. So let's say if, if we give an assignment today to the student that, okay, we want to open up a new outlet, uh, they are looking into the data and they are going to suggest us, okay, because we have this demand from this area and the data says this one, and yes, this is possible. Of course, this is not uh, fully done yet. We are still working on it, but we are, we are making sure that we have all uh, the applications we are using it, the data is coming at one place. So data has been always a very important role for, for us. Yeah, I think that's music to our ears. And um, uh, and especially, I can't see Matt right now, but he's probably cheering in the background because um, we we love putting data at the heart of our decision-making and and being able to move quickly because of it. So having that baked into the curriculum means that we'll have a, a next a graduating class that thinks about the role of data in hospitality and in guest experience, which is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, right. The third question that I think I'll probably a lot of people have been waiting for: what is your guidance to this audience for recruiting this this group of very talented hoteliers? Um, as I said before, that we are dealing with the Generation Z, so they are very tax heavy. Uh, they 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 like applications. They they want uh, they want uh, simplicity. Uh, they want to to uh, to to start fast. Uh, they 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 have their own opinion as well about things, uh, but they also uh, uh, want to have a right uh, work life balance as well. So it's not only about the money anymore. Uh, when we are um, attracting um, any new employees, they they want to they want to know what is in for it. What if they they if they would work for uh, for a company, uh, what uh, what is their place? Uh, we experienced this one last week. We had one of the biggest uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, event. Fair. We you know a fair industry fair, so invited uh, more than hundred uh, companies. Uh, there were uh, more than thousand students were present, and what we uh, received as a feedback from from the other colleagues says that students were 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 having a conversation with the companies that what is in for me, and and previously uh, before pandemic it was always the student really wanted to go the company because they were really looking for that 
a specific place to work for and now uh, they they are they are uh, uh, they, they want to see okay if they would like to work there what they are getting back so uh, uh, it is it is really uh, trying to create uh, a more uh, open workspace for them uh, where they are more welcomed and uh, also a little bit more patience because as i said that this group of students been through very difficult time so they they need more openness as well yeah this is a topic actually that i've heard and it, believe it or not in in investment conferences where the room is full of asset managers and hotel portfolio owners in which you know if you can't create the right environment for the workforce that we have today that you know it is a risk factor for the hotel groups and this is bubbling up to the highest levels of of hotel groups which is you know we need to look at things like employer branding and flexible work time um, and creating some work life balance and then in particular as you start to get to you know families who are raising young children, um, if we want to keep them in hospitality, they need to have some flex time and these things become incredibly important. But as you said, I think this is a generation who are prioritizing experiences and, and are playing the long game because of what they've been through and care about, you know, greater causes than just um, short term um, hourly or rates or specific brands that yeah. they would be working for. Um, it's it's really super interesting. Why don't we get to the 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 big question of the hour, which is what are you thinking about for next year, and um, and what is the university really focused on in terms of the curriculum and the program and and the class of twenty four. Um, well, basically, we are and we are. Personally, by um, the way, <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> uh, besides all the different. Uh, elements we are looking at we are paying um uh, a lot of attention attention to the to to the tech and therefore we are creating more time available uh, for staff uh, to learn the tech as well of course we we are also dealing with the same uh, uh um, millennials or you can say the generation that they, it was it was different services uh, or, or the service uh, um uh, used for the, for the tech uh, but right now they they also need to learn. So we are at the same time making sure that our students are getting the best. But the but the uh, but but the staff is also learning those. And therefore we are uh, spending a lot of time on on the trainings, especially towards the data, uh, because we have now this infrastructure available. But we are training more and more staff members to 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 learn the uh, how to make the Power BI uh, dashboards, how the students can can learn from it, how the students are are making it. So basically really make, creating an ecosystem. Uh, and I have, I have my, my colleagues who are really helping us as well to, to, to shape this one. So the data is going to be really a focus point again next year. Um, at the same time, we are also looking into the AI as well because the AI started very fast this year. And this year we have been uh, using it like on a personal level or some colleagues are using it. But we are really looking into it, how we can bring it to the education, how the students uh, can use it, how we can use it uh, uh, for the company to increase the uh, efficiency for the for the staff. But at the same time, because we deal with the student, uh, with the guest as well, and how we can bring the AI for the guests, so they it increase it it help them to to uh, to have a seamless booking process. Uh, uh, we are getting the right data, so basically connecting uh, from the different uh, uh, endpoints how the AI can work. So it's really exploration is going on right now, but hopefully next year we are able to uh, to put something and bring something in the market which says that this is how the tech can be used in 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 the hospitality. It is so, so important. And it's exciting to think about. And especially, I think, uh, the use cases that can involve guest experience. Um, I think uh, this is a perfect segue to both Shane and, and Tim's conversation that's about to happen, but also helping maybe the students to learn more use cases around AI other than uh, writing their essays and papers for them with chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really want to thank you so much for this. It's an it's you bring a unique perspective and such an important one. And so we have been absolutely thrilled to have you, Kashif, and, and I hope that you will come back 
and um, and and speak to us again because I think it's if we want to attract that next generation, it's important to understand who they are and how they're operating. But I also look at the work that you're doing, and we get so excited because we see uh, we don't see enough passion about that curriculum that you're developing, and it is so so crucial for this for this group of hospitality professionals. So thank you so much.